Please join with me as we look into an average family conversation. The Jones family, living in the Upper West Willamette Valley in Oregon. We join them as little Audrey asks mom and dad some questions. Welcome. Hi, Daddy. How about a hug? Okay. What's the matter, sweetheart? Our class went to the Air Museum today. How was it? Okay, I guess. There are a lot of airplanes and rockets and things. Amazing, isn't it? I guess. So what's the problem? Well, they had this gigantic missile in the middle of the floor. I'll bet it was as wide as our house and it looked about three times taller. The sign said it was for delivering nuclear bombs. It scared me. What's a megaton? A megaton is a million tons of TNT. You know, the stuff they use when they want to blast a path for a freeway or in mining. Well, the sign said that the bomb in this carried was nine megatons. Could that blow up Portland? A bomb that size could pretty much erase the city the size of Portland. That sounds horrible, Daddy. Well, we all hope that will never happen. But we have to keep weapons like that ready because we know that Russia has similar kinds of weapons aimed at us. And we have to keep them ready to go in case they decide to use one on us. Do they have missiles and bombs like ours? I'm afraid they do, sweetie. But, you know, our two countries used to have a lot more bombs and missiles, more than 60,000. But now we've reduced that number to 7,500. 7,500 bombs, each of which could erase an entire city. How many cities are there anyway? Oh, I don't know. Between our two countries, there maybe as many as three or 400. Why are there so many more bombs than cities? <laughs> I know, it sounds crazy, sweetie. Trying to reduce that number, but we seem to have gotten stuck. Why? Well, I guess we just don't trust each other. The experts feel that if we reduce that number anymore, the other side might feel like they could win a war and launch a surprise attack against us. Do you really think they will attack us, Daddy? Not very likely, sweetie, because they know how many bombs we have. They know they couldn't wipe us out in a single attack. And if we retaliated, we do as much damage to them as they did to us, probably more. So they aren't going to attack because they know that they will be destroyed as well? You got it. So we trust each other enough not to use these missiles and bombs, but not enough to destroy them completely? Is that right, Daddy? That's the current situation. And I really don't think it's going to change in my lifetime. Maybe in yours. Daddy, if you can't change it, what makes you think that we will be able to? I can't answer that, sweetheart. I, I just don't know what I can do. There is something that you can do. Send a message to our leadership that our current perilous state of nuclear confrontation is not the only way it needs to be. The folks at the Yamhill County Interfaith Advocates for Peace with Justice are working to solve this problem, as well as the other situations that threaten our very survival by working to create a world where peace with justice reigns. And come to our Peace Walk and Fair on Sunday, October 11th at 3 to 6 p.m. Save that date, Sunday, October 11th. Who knows? You can help convince our leadership that there is a peaceful way. Brought to you by the Yanhill County Interfaith Advocates for Peace with Justice.